Oh my god. He's unconscious. He's bleeding. Shit, what could have happened to him? Ethan. Ethan, can you hear me? Calm down, girl. There must be something I can do to help him. <sighs> Origami figures. What is he doing with them? look really bad. I need to disinfect your wounds. You've got a hell of a fever. Are those burn marks on your chest? your clothes off to disinfect those wounds. Doctor, but I'll do what I can. Ah! Crap. That's disinfectant. Not terribly good for burns. Your wounds are disinfected.
Sorry, I'll take it easy. That should ease the pain. That's all I can do. How do you feel? Ethan? He's unconscious. Now I'll just have to wait. And hope he wakes up. How do you feel? I've been better. Was I out for long? About three hours. Why the Guardian Angel Act? You don't even know me. When I was a child, I was always the one who used to fix my brothers up when they'd been fighting with the other kids on the block. I, uh, I suppose I like to play the guardian angel. You said you were here because you're an insomniac? I, um, I've been going through a bit of a tough patch the last few months. It's the kind of stuff you prefer to forget. I do what I can to live with it, but, uh, it's not easy. You, um, you got some kind of a problem? Bigger than you can possibly imagine. You mixed up with the Mafia? Owe someone money? Something like that? Listen, I'm truly grateful for your help, but for your own sake, I think it's better if you don't ask any questions. Maybe I could help you. I... No one can help me. You've already done a lot, Madison. Right. I'm gonna go. Take care. I don't want that girl to get involved. No one must know, until I find my son. Must, must stay on my feet. I'm coming, Sean. I'll find you wherever you are. 
I need to get going. I've already lost too much time. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something... Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Find my son. I'm begging you. I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake, and this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Doctor, a child's life's at stake. You may know something that could help us save him. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Back off, Let Jayden. go of me. This guy knows something and I'm not leaving here until he you tells me what no it is. You have no right! <laughs> Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. You have no right to hit him. I'm saving a kid's life for Christ's sake. If you don't like it, leave. Ooh. What's up with you, Norm? How you getting cold feet? You don't like to get your hands dirty, huh? I thought you wanted to save that kid. I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me the freedom to do what the hell I like, so you're gonna stop this shit right now! I'll get you for this, Jaden. Don't worry. I will not forget.
Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. The balls are in that basket. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Impressive. You seem to have a knack for it. A oh, beginner's luck. I'm assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Thank you. 
I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. <laughs>